Yeah, this truck is a. Uh, he about to trip over it. So. Yeah, it's a, a neck turner, head turner, whatever you want to call it. Last time I came to fill it up, I had full blown conversations with two two guys just that quick. The one guy he told me he's like Western Star Trucks is the best best truck in the whole wide world. My daddy had one, and when he would come back from trucking, I had to go out and shine her. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Oh my goodness. Honey, that party was crazy. A time was had. A time was had, <laughs> and it wasn't meant for vlogging. But um, we're actually uh, getting ready to head to the truck stop, fill the truck up with some water, and uh, hopefully we can do it the right way this way because we filled the water up the first time and we didn't realize a valve was open so all the water hit the ground we had to go over to our mentor's hotel and take a shower it was just a lot of fun we had a lot of fun we were just getting into a lot of stuff you started up no we started up hey Carla trying to get her little life together in this Western Star. I told y'all we ain't never drove Western Star before. And uh, it feels awkward. I told Nick I feel like a new driver. <laughs> like I'm just starting to drive. Yeah, because we're so used to Freightliner. Um, I actually drove the truck when the first time when we went to get the water and it spilled. Me personally, I love the way it drives. It reminds me of the truck I got trained in. <laughs> because when you go around curves in the Freightliner trucks, uh, which that over there, that's a freight liner. Majority of these are freight liners. Um, it just feel like you're about to roll over. But this, it's like at the base, it's more sturdy. I feel more stable. And uh, when I go around curves, I don't feel like, whoa, I'm about to roll over. You know, I don't feel like that. All right, we're about to get ready to head out. Yes, we're not on the load, so. All right, how I feel. This parking lot was lit up last night. Everybody saying bye. <laughs> they go Western Star. Oh yeah, the Panther. They couple last night. Oh yeah, they love their truck too. Right. They take the first class. Right. This shit was fun. Oh. We met some uh, other drivers who were not a part of the Highfield fleet. They came over to the party as well. It was pretty dope uh, talking to them, networking with them. Um, everybody just had a good time though. to make us a quick Walmart start so uh, stop so we can get our refrigerator together um, at the party they had pizza uh, chips and all that stuff so we ate that stuff but now we got to get back on track with you know eating our fruits and then eating like our one meal so we can try to keep our weight in check you know not gain weight at least maintain it Y'all, so we was thinking when we go in Walmart, uh, we may actually get a rug, try to get some rugs for out here. And of course, so we can sanitize the floor. Then we won't walk back here in our shoes anymore. But Carla just got me to do something real cool I ain't never did before. She uh, <laughs> had me to. It's like not exactly. It's not exactly, but it gave me an idea. Yeah. And then, so one foot, two, and. I say I don't want it to be exactly three because we also wanted to go half. So maybe two in the, two feet in the front, two feet in the back. And then she had me go from this and do like this. <laughs> I put it in the phone. Huh? You put it in the phone? No, it's easy. Okay, to remember it. Yeah. I know I did four feet that way and then 
two this way, but really four, because we want some of it to go under, under the bed. Yeah. If we could find like a circle or something like that, that would be dope. We don't even know what color we want to do for butter, but you know. <laughs> It's the uh, second to last, I think. I'm, I can't even hardly see. I need to get my glasses. I wonder who truck is that? That's a FedEx. Yeah, since we done met, uh, the truck driver. Yeah, yeah. Since we done met so many people who drive with the fleet, we may even know them. What if that was Betsy? <laughs> Finally made it to the truck stop. Um, we're actually getting ready to fill butter up with some waters. No, nah, that, that, that ain't one of us at all. I can tell by the door, because they got a roll-up door. None of their trucks got the roll-up doors, as far as I know. Yeah, baby, you might want to use that um, engine brake to help you go and slow this mug down. Yeah. Because that brake... I definitely have to do that. Yeah. He, in the, uh, he just sitting in there, too. Uh, maybe another one, uh, right here, maybe, we can see. I don't know, is that, hold on, speak it over there, baby. I just saw it. Over where? Um, the second to last one. Go ahead. Then we got to top our tank off, because our tank's supposed to be full. is a uh about the trip over itself. yeah it's a, a neck turner head turner whatever you want to call it um the last time i came to fill it up i had full-blown conversations with two two guys just just that quick <laughs> so i'm like yeah uh the one guy he told me he's like western star trucks is the best best truck in the whole wide world and my daddy had one, and when he would come back from trucking, I had to go out in China. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> they just come and have conversations with you. Now, since we um, got a full tank of fuel and we got our uh, water tank filled up, we are going to go over the scale so we can see exactly how heavy this truck is. That's somebody we know. That's somebody that just came from the uh Do we want to right next to them or over one? Over one. <laughs> and just to give an update on our load situation. So I was looking at the load board and I was wondering why are there no loads on here? So I called and uh, we realized that our truck is actually not in the system correctly. So because today is Sunday, we actually have to wait until tomorrow so we can speak to the right people so they can put the information in the system correctly 
so that we can start taking loads and get on out of here, go and put butter to, to work and make that money. But uh, other than that, today it's going to be like a lazy Sunday. I don't know if we're going to cook dinner today or what we're going to do. Um, but other than that, I guess I'll turn on some TV <coughs> so we can chill. Like the essential oil? Yeah, I like it. Chill and chill. Yeah. It's got me feeling already relaxed because I don't sniffed it. But I liked it. What is up, you guys? Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. I mean, another day. Let me take off my little slippers. Okay, so we actually uh, was hustling and bustling this morning trying to get us a load and uh, get things straightened out with our truck. Um, for the most part, it's straightened out. There's still a few more, still a few more kinks we got to work through, but we did end up getting a load, which is actually going to put us really close to hitting our goal for the month. This load alone is a level four load. I'm not going to celebrate until it's on my back, so I'm real mellow and I'm like cool. We got a load. Cool. Cool. I mean, yeah. Do I want to twerk? Yeah. Wait. But am I going to twerk? No. Not hey. until it's on our back. I don't even want to twerk. You see, I'm over here cutting strawberries. <laughs> so, uh, this load here, it actually picks up in Bedford, Ohio. It picks up in Ohio. Um, it is a temperature load. I'm actually getting ready to fill out the, uh, the paperwork now. And then it drops in Fort Worth, Texas. Now, Fort Worth, Texas, um, we have not been in this scenario yet. So it is all hands on deck as far as with our mentors. With our mentors, we actually have been trying to do a lot more on our own. And it's mainly because we've done this before. Not saying we know everything, but it's kind of like after a while, once you give me the rules to the game, I like to play it on my own. Fuck up where I may fuck up. And, um, and then ask questions and get advice that way. I, after a while, the hand-holding, I'm not a big fan of that. Shout out to our mentors for understanding. So we're just kind of just figuring out what works for us. And um, I actually told him, I was like, we have not been in this scenario. So any advice would be greatly appreciated. And um, they going to help like they always do. <laughs> but... Um, what you laughing at? Are they? Yeah, they so goofy. That's they why she laughing. Goofy. I was uh when I sent the text, I was like, uh, any advice you know would be greatly appreciated. Uh, what did uh Melissa, Melissa said? Say, don't, don't talk, talk to, to strangers. strangers. And Tim said, get out. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. I, so yeah. So uh, but anyways, uh, that is the low. We actually don't leave until tomorrow. Um, we don't pick up to like I think one o'clock, one thirty. And then we drop that next day. So then after that, the goal really is going to be to get get the fuck out of, of Texas because I don't want to get stuck there. So we're hey, gonna see how this ask play out. Them something. Do any of y'all clean y'all fruit with um, baking soda? And do you use apple cider vinegar? Sometimes, but it depends on what I have on hand. Okay. So today, like in the truck, I use baking soda a lot of the time. And I just kind of try to let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then, um, yeah, rinse it off and eat it. Right. Yeah, so we're probably going to have to get some apple cider vinegar. Um, I'm, you know, to have it too, because when I eat berries, I usually like to use apple cider vinegar and the baking soda. But if you only have baking soda, it's better than just water. That's true. That is true. So how you been liking your new truck so far, honey? I love it. Um, last night though, we actually uh decided to watch that new movie. I don't know when y'all gonna see this. Y'all probably see this about a month from now, but this is during the time where they clone Tyrone is dropped. The Jamie with Jamie Foxx, and I call it the Jamie Foxx movie, but y'all know how we do. But um, but yes, y'all, that movie was crazy. A lot of messages in the movie that we already know. You know, when it comes to the music, y'all know the music, the way it's affecting, especially our community, is just horrible. Um, the gangster drug music, um, also the um, food, how it's affecting our health, that's affecting 
all, all Americans, but um, I know black people, they are really just getting messed up by that stuff. A lot of deep messages in the thing, but overall, it had a little comedic edge to it. Um, they had uh, Erica Badu, she remade the song Tyrone to match with the clone talk. Really cool little movie. I highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. Check it out. Um, but yeah, check it out. <laughs> Let's see, they don't have the pieces in here, but the weight is only 160 pounds. It's crazy. We used to, it just went, thinking when we were doing tractor trailer, we would haul stuff that was like, where the entire truck would be 80,000 pounds and wouldn't get paid this much. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, the fact that uh, we are only hauling something for 160, that's 160 pounds, I probably could, well, me and Carter probably could pick it up together with our little hands if we wanted to. We wouldn't do it. But, um, it just it blows my mind but it's really all about the type of freight that you're hauling rather than how much you're hauling because i know one trucking company we drove for we would be hauling like uniforms like clothes or uh snacks snack debbie cakes <laughs> um and, and, and groceries and stuff but we don't do that here we do not do that here we haul some maybe small in weight but big in value from eating dinner we had to let the uh we had to sit at the table for this one <laughs> and carla she's carrying it cleaning up um if you're not already following us on instagram make sure you follow us at nick and carla where we will share some of the meals that we cook in the trucks just so you can you know see what we're eating what we're cooking in the truck but um we're actually getting ready to take a shower for tonight and uh, settle in so we can get ready to run this load to Texas tomorrow. Thanks.